Hey guys, happy Saturday. It's Connor here. Welcome back. I hope you're all having a great day so far and a good start to your weekend. It is time for another edition of the Weekly Wax Chat, which is the video that I like to do here on my channel every weekend, where I basically just share everything that I have been enjoying in home fragrance for the past seven days. So we'll be discussing the candles that I've been burning. We talk about the wax melts from this week. We talk about what I currently have burning. We talk about what I have melting in my Crocs and in my lamps and my warmers. So yeah, like I said, basically just all of the good home fragrance things from the last week. Uh, per usual, I will leave a lot of good stuff down below in the description box, including links to all of the major websites that I'm gonna be discussing here this week. Most of the stuff this week, honestly, is from Bath & Body Works, so it'll be that. And then I do have a Kringle, and I have a couple of Yankees as well, so I will definitely link those uh, down below. And I actually have some homeworks burning, so I'll link all the websites down below. Um, I'll also link if I have any discount codes for you guys. I am an affiliate with both Kringle and Homeworks, and so I have some affiliate codes that can save you a little bit of money both on those uh, two websites. Uh, they are affiliate codes, so I do make a small percentage back from them, but it just goes right into providing for my channel. So thank you as always if you use them, but I will leave all of that stuff down below for you guys to easily find. And then um, if you're a little bit newer here, or maybe you just need a quick refresher, I do have some like candle 101 videos down below for candle crocs, candle lamps, and candle hurricanes. And so if you're newer or you need a refresher on those three concepts, those videos will be really helpful in guiding you to do so. So uh, yeah, I think that's it for the intro, guys. We're actually gonna go ahead and get up and do our little tour, see what is burning right now, and then also go down to the candle croc and see what is currently going in there. So let's go ahead and get up and see what I have going. All right, first thing I have going right behind me in the dining room going is Homeworks Citrus Plumeria. Um, before we even get into the scent here, I did just want to let you guys know as a disclaimer, this one was sent in PR by Homeworks, so I did not pay for it, but it was sent for me to review. All opinions are still my own, and actually the other candle that I'm burning, which I'll show you in a minute, that one was also sent in PR, um, but this is Citrus Plumeria from Homeworks. It is also burning in a hurricane right now that is from Homeworks, but has now been discontinued, so I'm not able to link it. But um, if you actually go down and click on that Candle Hurricane 101 video, there are um, a lot of hurricanes listed in the description box of that video. But um, yeah, Citrus Plumeria, this is a brand new one for this summer from Homeworks. I'm loving this scent so far. This is really pretty. It is my first time burning it, so I don't really have a ton of thoughts quite yet but I definitely plan on burning this to about the midway point, and then hopefully I'll have my review up a little bit later next week. Um, so far, it's burning really nicely. The wicks are doing good. I'll actually go ahead and show you guys a little overhead view here. Um, again, first time lighting up, so I haven't gotten a ton of burn time out of this, but as you can see, it's doing pretty well. Uh, struggling to pull out a little bit there, but it's only been going for about an hour now, so that's about normal, but it is in this hurricane, like I said. Uh, so far, the strength seems about a medium. I will say the other one that I'm burning is definitely stronger than this one, and I kind of feel like it might be drowning the scent out a little bit, so maybe I need to just burn this one by itself, because I really do kind of want to see how strong this one is itself, because the other one I'm burning is definitely a powerhouse, but this one seems to be about a medium. But uh, yeah, Citrus Plumeria review should be up next week. All right, candle number two burning is right here in the entryway. This is another Homeworks candle that was sent in PR, and this is Hibiscus Flower. Now, this one is not a new scent from Homeworks. This one actually launched a few years ago, but I just never got around to uh, picking it up and reviewing it. So when they offered this in my PR list, I was like, yes, I'll take this one. And this is a beautiful floral, you guys. If you like Harry's more fruity florals, I would say you'll definitely be a fan of this one. It definitely has a very tropical floral smell to it, so it's not just like your straight up floral. But um, hibiscus flowers are already like a more tropical summertime flower. But this is beautifully done. It's very sweet and just uh, summery and a great time, a uh, great scent to burn this time of year. 
Uh, like I said, it also is throwing really, really well for me. I am already smelling this one honestly throughout a majority of the downstairs right here. Just uh, burning this for an hour in this hurricane, it is already filling up a good amount of the downstairs. And so I'm really proud of it. This one is unexpectedly throwing really well. And like I said, it's almost drowning out the other candle a little bit. So yeah, this one so far seems to be doing quite well. Um, I'll also show you the burn right here. Seems to be doing pretty good. Uh, the wicks on this one are definitely a little bit bigger than that other one. So I might have to trim these a little bit more than I would uh, that uh, citrus plumeria. But so far it is doing really well for me and I will definitely be having a review of this one up next week, uh, probably in the second half of the week. Also, before I forget to mention, this is burning in the Pottery Barn Daphne Hurricane. I will link that one down below. It's also listed in that hurricane video. But um, this is a beautiful hurricane and it is still in stock right now. So this is one of the few hurricanes that I have that you actually are able to still find. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and see what is currently going downstairs right now in the Candle Crock. All right, so currently going down right now in the candle crock is Yankee Candles Coconut Beach, which is right here. Um, if you guys saw, I did actually get a review up of this one this past week. I had never reviewed this one, but it's always just been a favorite summertime scent in our home, so I wanted to uh, have a review up in my catalog. Uh, it's a very just like basic tropical white coconutty type scent. It's got a little bit of like that sea salt smell to it, but it's just kind of like your more basic beachy coconut fragrance. Uh, I love it, but it did unfortunately end up getting puny wicks on me. So um, I decided to go ahead and put it in the crock. It also was a pretty light strength and throw, so I thought maybe it would do a little bit better in the crock, and it actually is doing better just with strength and throw because it's in the crock. Um, for some reason, I find that if I put maybe like a lighter candle sometimes in the candle crock, it does just end up performing a little bit better, and that is kind of what I'm experiencing here. Uh, just because I had to crock this doesn't mean I don't love it still and that I won't repurchase it. Again, it's definitely a favorite in our household for the summertime, so I will continue to get it every summer. But um, this specific one it did, try to, did kind of struggle a little bit. But um, I still love this scent, and it's definitely filling up the downstairs of our house quite nicely in this little like foyer area. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's what's currently going in the crock. Let's go ahead and head back upstairs and see what else I've been burning this All right, and we are back. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that little tour there. Let's go ahead and get into all of the other stuff that I have been burning from my candle stash this week, and then obviously the wax melts at the end of the video. But let's get right into it. I have a lot to share with you guys this week. I have quite a lot of empties, so we're actually going to start there and then we'll get into all of the other stuff. But um, let's just kind of quickly go through these empties because I feel like I have talked these to death and so it is finally time to be done with them and put them in the empties bin. All right, starting off, we have Bath & Body Works Tiki Beach here. I loved this one. This was the first time that I've ever had it and this is definitely not going to be a favorite summertime scent of mine. The notes here are warm vanilla musk, orchids, and toasted coconut. This is a beautiful beachy coconut type scent. It does have a slight floral vibe to it from the orchid, but then it's just like that beautiful vanilla coconut base to it. This was amazing. Again, another purchase of this would definitely be in my future. I love this one for the summertime now. Performance was really good. I didn't have any burn issues with this one. Honestly, I had a really good experience with all of the Bath & Body Works candles from the last couple weeks. So yeah, overall, this one did good. Strength and throw, solid, like seven, seven and a half. Was very impressed with this one. This was actually the label from this past winter semi-annual sale so it is in a newer label now that it is included in the semi-annual sale that's currently going on so if you are creating a list for bath and body works and you need a couple more summer scents i definitely would recommend the tiki beach here um my next empty is another staple that is in my home every summer this is bath and body works waikiki beach coconut this is definitely a favorite uh, for our household during the summer. It is tropical white coconut, saltwater breezes, and sun bleached woods. This, again, very like salty coconut, beachy, fresh air type scent. It's beautiful. I do have one more of these that I bought from this in my annual sale that I will be burning a little bit later this summer, but um, I really had a good performance with this one. I will say the wicks got a little bit puny at like the midway point and were kind of puny for the rest of the way down, but it still did 
pretty good and I didn't get any like sootiness or anything. Strength and throw on this one was about like a solid medium, which is what this normally is for me, about like a six, six and a half. Very happy with that one. Um, a new one that I tried this year that I've never had, but will definitely be a repurchase was Bath and Body Works Santorini Coast. I actually was planning on getting a couple more of these for the summer when it went on the sale for the semi-annual, but it actually never ended up going on sale yet. I'm really hoping that it does soon because I want a couple more of these for the summer because, um, I'm trying to remember it is still only June 14th when I'm filming this video. So I still have like two and a half months left of summer break because I'm trying to burn it through through August, excuse me, and um, I need more summertime scents and not just like fall ones. So when all the fall stuff comes out, I'm gonna wanna buy it all, but I need to make sure I have summer stuff ready to burn. So I want more of this Bath & Body Works. If you're watching, please put it on sale. This is a beautiful fragrance. It is creamy coconut, almond blossom, and warm vanilla. So it's like a blend of those three notes, the coconut, the almond, and the vanilla, and it creates like a edible gourmand coconut scent. It is sweet, it is creamy, it is delicious. Oh, this one's so good. I love this one. I also love the label on this one. This was super cute. I didn't really like it at first, but now I've kind of come to love it. This is a really nice label. The performance on this one did pretty good for me. Obviously, good burn, burned it all the way, not dirty or anything, and it had a solid medium high strength and throw. Very impressed with that one. And then the last Bath & Body Works empty that I have is Fiji White Sands. Again, first time having this one, but it's definitely one that I will be getting in the future. This is fresh cut sugar cane, white nectarine, and sandalwood. So there's no coconut note listed in here, but I definitely smell a coconut in here, to be honest. Um, I feel like all of these definitely have like a coconut base to them. I do get like a creamy sandalwood note in here. It's a little bit woodsy, but it's more of like a sweet, creamy sandalwood, not necessarily like your like cologne sandalwood, but kind of like a driftwood or like a beechwood note in here. And then it says nectarine. I get a little bit of a nectarine note in here, but it's not super citrusy. I would say this is more fresh and clean and coconut, but um, it's a beautiful scent nonetheless, and this will definitely be something that I will get again. Uh, burn performance was pretty good, actually. Um, with these like white bar neutral label ones, I always get really dirty burns from these specific ones, but this one did pretty good for me. I mean, you can see just a little bit of soot there on the top, but it's definitely not as bad as you know they sometimes get. And I also didn't really feel that like the wicks got puny on this one. So I was really impressed with it. Um, I will say strength and throw on this one was a little bit lighter. Although I feel like with this type of scent, it was maybe meant to be a little bit lighter. I honestly think it's pretty similar to the Tiki Beach. So if you want something similar to this, but um, maybe a little bit more strength and throw out of it, I think that the Tiki Beach will definitely be a good alternative, but nonetheless, this Fiji White Sands is a beautiful one. So those were all my Bath & Body Works empties. I do have a Kringle empty here. This is Kringle Sea Breeze. I actually finished this one up last night in the three wick format. Um, I love Sea Breeze. This was one of my favorite launches that they had from last summer. It is ozone, coconut fruit, green coconut, and amber. And this one is a really nice like tropical fruity scent. It does have a coconut base to it. So it's like that creamy coconut, but then there's like a fruity smell to it. I think that that probably comes from the fruit that's in here. It's got a little bit of green to it as well. So it's kind of almost a little bit like a green scent, but then it also has this wonderful like salty beachy air smell to it. Like that just like fresh smell and Oh, I love this one. This is definitely another one that I will be getting for next summer. This was my backup, but I need to get a couple more. I think that this one was on sale over at Kringle. So I need to pick up more of this because this also performs really well for me. The three wick obviously burns down flawlessly, no issues at all with this 100% soy. 
formula. And then the shrink and throw on this one was pretty good for me as well. I would put it at like a solid seven, to be honest, which I feel like out of the two wick classic, like regular jar from Kringle, I wouldn't get quite that amount of shrink and throw. I also would love to see this one come in the Kringle four wicks that are supposed to be launching soon. Um, I've not really heard an official date, but we were told by Mick or the ambassadors were told by Mick that um they will be coming soon so i don't really know when that's going to be happening i feel like they've been teasing it for like months now i think that they started teasing it like in january and it's now the middle of june and i'm like when is it going to be coming because at this point they're going to be launching their fall stuff probably in the next couple of weeks so yeah, I don't know. There's a lot going on at Kringle right now, to be honest. There was that new Country Candle launch, which you guys, I didn't even pick anything up from that one. There were a couple things that I wanted, but I'm really trying to budget. And I also felt like that launch was a little bit late for me. It launched a couple days ago and it's like already mid June. And I know that obviously there's still going to be summer burning happening, but I know that a lot of people are probably at this point in the summer saving their money for the fall stuff and like the other stuff like Christmas in July from homework so that's coming up soon so I feel like people are probably going to be saving their money a little bit so I'm kind of confused why they did that they're also doing a Kringle uh, reserve launch in a couple of weeks here and I actually was offered the opportunity to pre-order all of the ambassadors were and I actually didn't even place a pre-order which as an ambassador that's probably not like the best thing to do I should probably pre-order and show you guys but to be honest most of those scents didn't really appeal to me. There were a couple that seemed pretty good, but nothing to the point where I was going to like take out of my budget to buy them and then have to burn through them, which like obviously it's fun. I love candles, but I also have to be really careful with my budget because I don't just want to buy candles or other stuff that I want to buy and have to buy. So I have to be really careful. And I know that like their new fall stuff will be coming out soon. And that's really going to want that is really where I'm going to want to dedicate my money to. So I just have to be really careful with my spending. But a lot of the other reviewers either received the entire collection of PR or bought some when they pre-ordered. So definitely check those out. I know that Katie has been working really hard on getting some reviews. Melanie is as well. And I know that there are a lot of other reviewers that I'm not thinking of right now that have been really working hard to burn and get through those reviews before the launch. So check them out. But um, either ways, in the end, I finished Kringle Seabreeze. <laughs> um, I have a Yankee empty this week. This is Yankee's A Calm and A Quiet Place. Finally finished this one up. This was a beautiful, like fresh, clean scent. I love this one. This is one of my favorites and I found it in this signature uh, jar style here from the outlets. Actually, I found these when I was in the Williamsburg outlet and I was kind of surprised. I think that this is from another uh, uh, country. I think one of my subscribers told me, was it French maybe that this is? But yeah, I'm not sure, but I love this scent. It did pretty well. It was definitely lighter than I was hoping, but I still enjoyed this and it was nice for a bedroom. And then my last empty was Nest uh, Three Wick Coconut mm -hmm. and Palm. Um, I did finally review this one. So if you uh, want some more in-depth info on this candle, check out that review. Um, overall, I loved the scent, but I was a little bit upset with the performance. I was um, a little bit saddened by just like the overall burn of it. It definitely kind of burned a little bit messy. Not necessarily like sooty, like as you can see, it burned pretty clean there, but it definitely was not the prettiest like wax color after burning it which I kind of knew going into it I've had like the nest three wicks that just turn kind of dirty on me but um I still wanted that great strength and throw out of this one so I'm not like regretting buying this but I am just a little bit disappointed and I don't know if I can really recommend it but if you're interested or considering picking this one up definitely go back and watch that review all right, so that is all of the empties from this week. And let's go ahead and get into the other stuff that I've been burning this week and uh, working on. Um, this, the other stuff that I've been working on was mostly the Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale candles. I really wanted to burn these and review them for you guys. So I did have uploads, uh, reviews of all three of these. Starting with the whipped coconut milkshake here. Um, I do have my review of this one up, so if you're interested in more in-depth info of any of these, check them out. But um, this whipped coconut milkshake was really nice. I love the scent on this one. It's vanilla ice cream, toasted coconut, and sugared amber. This is really nice. It definitely smells like a vanilla scent, like an 
creamy vanilla ice cream scent with a little bit of like a coconut note to it. It says sugar damper, but I feel like that's like their way of saying like a musk, like it almost has like a body care smell, which this actually is in the body care. So it kind of makes sense to me, but don't let that note scare you off. But this is a really nice scent, but I will tell you it's very light. So if you're gonna buy this one, do just know it's definitely lighter in strength and throw. Um, I would probably plan on burning this one in a closed concept area like a bedroom or a bathroom if you plan on getting this one and want a good performance out of it. I've tried to burn it in the kitchen. I've tried to burn it in the living room and it kind of struggles in both of those areas to be honest. So yeah, kind of just expect that. It's a little bit upsetting, but um, overall the burn has been doing pretty good for me. I know a couple people said that there's got puny wicks on them. Mine has not done that yet, and I'm at the halfway point, as you guys can see. So yeah, I don't know if that's maybe gonna end up happening, but so far it's been doing good. I will continue to burn this one, and I'll probably be done with it by next weekend. So I'll obviously be able to give you guys some more information then. Um, and then the other two that I were burning was the uh, blend candles. First off, the Ocean Vanilla Bean. Now, I didn't really know how to feel about this one at first, but after I burned it and reviewed it, I actually love this scent. Not to the point where I'm gonna like buy backups of it, but it's a nice scent. It's uh, Blue Cypress Coastal Air Madagascar Vanilla Bean and Warm Cinnamon. This is really nice. It definitely has like the aquatic cologne smell that uh, Ocean has, but then it has like that creamy, like sweet vanilla note in here that the vanilla bean obviously has. It is kind of interesting because I feel like for me, this smells a little bit different when I burn it versus just smelling it on cold. And even when I smelled it in the stores, I kind of felt that way. I feel like when I smell it here, it smells more like vanilla bean. But when I light this one up, I feel like I'm smelling more of that blue cypress and coastal air that comes from the ocean. So yeah, I actually like this though. It's a nice combo. Very like, uh, I feel like the two scents kind of balance each other out well. So I like this one. I don't know if Bath and Body Works will keep doing these blends. I feel like they're super hit and miss sometimes, but um, I do kind of like the idea, especially because They've been in the game for so long and I feel like they probably struggle with uh, coming up with new ideas. And I think we all know that because they repackage a lot of things. Um, so yeah, I'm like not surprised that they continue to do these because they're probably running out of ideas, but sometimes they're just hit and miss. And I'm like, why would you put those two sins together? Like it makes no sense. So yeah, I don't know. One that did make sense for me was uh, the Plum Area Plush Sugared Lemon Zest. Now, I've never had Plumeria in the candle, so I can't really tell you exactly what that scent smells like to me, but I have had sugared lemon zest, and the way that these two scents work together is amazing. Um, I also get, it's not listed in here, but I get a really nice gardenia note in here. It almost has like the white gardenia. It almost would make more sense to me if they just said white gardenia plus sugared lemon zest because that is what I smell in here. And I know that uh, fragrance junkie Summer also told me that she also smells a gardenia note in here. And so I'm like, good, I'm not alone in smelling the gardenia. But this is an amazing scent. If you like those more floral scents with a little bit of like a citrusiness to it, this is amazing. It's like gardenia and lemon. It smells so divine, so pretty. I'm definitely a floral person. I know not everyone is, so I can't like make the florals. Non-floral people want to like this, but if you like florals, definitely check this one out. It also burns really well for me. Um, I've had a pretty good burn out of this one and the strength and throw is really good on this one. This honestly has filled up the entire downstairs of our house. It is a powerhouse. So if you're looking for a great floral scent, a good burn, and a great strength and throw, check out this uh, Plumeria Plus Sugared Lemon Zest. And then I just have two more candles from this week. I actually haven't even lit this one up, but I uh, put them to the side because I plan on burning and reviewing these next week. Uh, Yankee Candle Pink Sands right here. I have had this one before. This is another favorite for our family, but I do want to get a review up of it because I was looking through my catalog of reviews and I noticed I didn't have a review of this one. So I'm gonna review it when I burn it in the three wick here. And then I also forgot that I bought this, but I need to review this one because it's already the middle of June. Um, Bath and Body Works Tropidelic. I need to burn this also this week and review it. So I've not burned these two yet, but definitely look for reviews of both next week. 
And that is it for the candles. And let's go ahead and finish off with wax melts. I just have two wax melts for this week, so not a ton. Starting off with By the Sea from Scentsy. I think I had this one last year, so um, I have had this one before, but it's a very nice, like, fresh, beachy type scent. It almost has like a clean, like, cotton smell to it almost, but it also has like a saltiness. It's a really pretty scent. If you like those more fresh, like beachy aquatic type scents, I think you'll definitely really like this one. Um, this one was also quite strong for me. I was able to leave this one in my warmers for like four days, I think it was. So yeah, if you want a good performer, check out that one. And then uh, Amazon Rain, which this one I've never tried before, but it is like a Scentsy bestseller. So I wanted to try it this summer. And I'm so glad that I did because this scent is amazing. And it actually reminds me quite a lot of Bath & Body Works at the beach. If you like at the beach and you want it in a wax melt form, check this out. I did not expect Amazon Rain to smell like at the beach. I feel like those are two very different like scents, but this one, is very very close to that it's like that same like coconutty like beachy type scent it's amazing though this is really nice i actually have it going in all of my warmers right now this is something that i will be buying again next year so yeah guys that is it from this week uh let me know in the comments what have you guys been enjoying in your home fragrance routine what have you been burning what have you been melting or however you like to enjoy your home fragrance just let me know in the comments uh, again lots of stuff in the description box so check that out but um thank you guys so much for being here please like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new here and i hope you guys have all uh all have a great rest of your weekend i'll see you in the next one bye